Worm NATO, what a tiny worm can teach us about collective behavior. Laura. Everyone here is an expert at collective behavior. We do it every day. At the grocery store, we sort ourselves into checkout lines. In city traffic, we merge and yield to accommodate another UPS truck stopped in the road. Each of these behaviors requires that we perceive other individuals and then modify our own behavior in response. And while this might feel second nature, it's actually a pretty complicated task. Luckily, we have 86 billion neurons to help us. And in fact, it's thought that social species evolved larger brains just to handle these types of challenges. So you can imagine my surprise when I started to notice that the tiny worm we work with, which has 300 neurons, would sometimes spontaneously self-organize and execute a choreography more advanced than the average high school marching band. Here you see two dishes of worms. Now, imagine for a moment that you've always seen dishes that look like this left image. Then you notice the dish on the right. And in this hypothetical, it's late at night. You've been staring at a lot of worm plates. <laughs> so you're like, hang on. Is it just me, or do these worms look kind of organized? Are these guys up to something? Well, to summarize months of subsequent work, they are up to something. It turns out that in response to a lid going on the dish, an entire population will simultaneously orient themselves parallel to the, ed to the edge of the dish and then migrate in a bi-directional spiral to the center. Now, these worms can't see or hear, and yet they're communicating because the more worms you have in the dish, the better they get at organizing. So at this point, I turned to Google. I did some weird searches, would not recommend, worm vortex, <laughs> possessed worms spiraling. <laughs> I did find that Rihanna's backup dancers once did something pretty similar, but the internet confirmed what I already suspected, that these worms aren't supposed to be talented backup dancers. So I called it the worm NATO and decided I had to study it. But why should we care how these worms NATO? What could I possibly tell my relatives? <laughs> well, we've seen that collective behaviors often apply across systems. We have models for machine learning based on ant behavior, and immune cells can swarm just like insects. So the parts might be different, but the principles are reused. Ultimately though, I love this project because it could only have happened by accident. And so it reminds us that doing science is about being curious and open-minded. It's about paying attention when nature does something surprising, because that's where we find truly novel biology. Thank you. Thank you, Laura.